So now that we have our Oracle database um, set up, you know, it's already installed, right? We have a database and all that. Now we're going to join it to the domain. Uh, I mean, sorry, we're going to join it to that SQL. <laughs> sorry, we're going to join it to um, Commvault. It's a little different. It's not on the domain. It's part of your, your built-in computer. Um, so we're not doing a one where we're actually adding Oracle to the domain and all that. We're just doing a built-in one built-in computer. So um, we've already installed our agent on Oracle. Now we're just wanting to, uh, um, you know, get the database there. So we're going to right-click on Oracle under your comm serve, go to all tasks and go discover instance. Click on yes. And it's going to discover the Oracle um, ID. What is it? CV Oracle, I think it, what we we had uh, on ours, or maybe it was Oracle two. One of them. I know I did a couple of videos where I did I did different uh, databases. Oracle. I mean, it's a lot similar in my mind. I'm not, I'm not Oracle DBA, but Oracle DBA, or I'm sorry, Oracle and um, and SQL. SQL's a, in my view, SQL's easier. Truth be told, than Oracle. Oracle. Um, just has a lot of stuff you have to do, right? SQL's like next, 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 done. Uh, but having said that, Oracle is most enterprise servers, like you want to have a bunch of data, uh, transactional log data. Um, most banks use Oracle. It's just because Oracle is uh, just made for that type of stuff, you know, millions of transactions and large amounts of data. And, um, you know, and it doesn't, it only a lot of times Oracle only takes what it needs uh, memory wise. It doesn't. Uh, SQL is a little beefier, needs a little more memory. Okay, fantastic. We see that our Oracle, um, Oracle 2 is what it was, not this this one here. Let me actually just delete this one. So ORCL, I'm going to delete that. You want to, yes, so erase and reuse media. Okay, that's uh, no longer there. Sweet. Good times. All right, so we're going to um, right-click on it and uh, go to properties. So anytime you're 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 backing up Commvault and you're backing up um, Oracle and Commvault, here's here's really the key one right here, actually. So you don't. In our case, since we used a built-in uh, Windows uh, account, we don't have to do this. But if you had one where you had um, a different an Oracle that was outside of, uh, let's say you did server enterprise, you'd have to change a bunch of stuff here. And here's where you do it. User account, you just click change and you would change it here. Since we're using a local uh, account, Windows account built in, it's fine. So how do you check to see, is my Oracle database online, right? I don't know. How do you even know? You click on this button here called refresh, just click it. And um, if it says unknown, then it's something's wrong offline uh, user count can't log in whatever but if it says open wow awesome that means um, it's it's good to go right so that's the uh, the validation that you you have so we're going to define our storage uh, device so let's click on stores device and it's already obviously I've set it up uh, I set up the old one before I had a bunch of issues of like long long issues so I'm like okay just do the easy way so storage policy um, yeah so um, storage policy click on backup uh, log backup the same thing uh, data transfer we're going to turn off the compression and dedupe we're going to disable the deduplication for this um, activity control we're going to enable it on, uh, across the board data aging yeah, we'll leave it enabled and security we're good there uh, let's push OK on that and typically what you do is you actually probably have um, sometimes you know it really depends on the customer but sometimes you'll have a different archive log go to a different storage policy you know um, yeah that's I've just seen that so um, so let's set up our schedule for this actually let's go to Click on, uh, what is it, policies, left-hand side here. 
go to schedule policy and we're going to just right click anywhere here schedule policy and get a new um, schedule policy we're going to call this um, Oracle Oracle okay data protection of course not auxiliary copy none of that stuff and agent type we're going to select Oracle yep Oracle so yeah Oracle okay and description it is a Oracle Okay. Um, associations. So we are going to choose. It's uh, under. Well, it's client computer, right? So we'll choose this one. Doesn't matter either one, right? But if you had, again, if you had, um, let's say, Windows client, and you had hundreds of Windows clients, right? And they all had Oracle, right? So you would just use this um, to actually capture all that. So you had just hundreds of clients, right, or whatever. You know, if you had hundreds of media agents, you could do the same thing as well, where, um, yeah, you're just defining your Oracle there. So we're going to um, we're going to click Oracle 2, push view. No, it's there. OK, good. Um, select alert. No alerts. We're going to set up security. Everything looks fine there. Go back to general and um, now we're going to click on add. So we're going to add a we're going to add two things, a full and then incremental. So we're going to click on full. We're going to do a scheduled pattern. Schedule full. Okay, weekly. We want to do it every um, yeah, every uh, what do we say? Saturday, I think. Go Saturday at 2 a.m. Let's do like that. 2 a.m. Yeah, Oracle um, does take quite a bit. It depends on really the database size, but it does take a while to, to back up. Um, so Oracle full every Saturday at 2 a.m. Uh, weekly, uh, only on Saturdays, every week. Click, um, click OK. Okay, then we're going to add a Oracle incremental. Okay, incremental, schedule policies, or sorry, schedule pattern, Oracle incremental. And um, so that's every day except for Saturday. So we could do daily or we could click on weekly. And um, their backups, incrementals, are going to be Monday through Friday, Sunday through Friday, if you will, um, at 2 a.m. So that's, um, yeah. Okay, click on OK. And uh, click on OK. And you see the two. Oh, there's one more there. Let me delete that one. I don't know why that's there then. At any rate, so we're. We're set here, so let's click on OK. OK, we see it there. So let's kick off a full. So we go right click on it and we'll do um, run imme immediately. And we'll select Oracle full. Click OK. Go to our job controller and watch it, um, watch it uh, do a full. So of course it's going to do a a full of the archive log as well unless you disable it we're not going to disable it. we're just going to let it uh, do its stuff let me give the screen here a little bigger view so you can take a look at it seems to be going well maybe I don't know 20 minutes something like that will be done hopefully um, yeah I'm gonna come back when it's just about done okay guess not um, let's see so let me click on this one here failed so what does it say? Oracle backup online backup cannot be run while database is in no archive log. Let me uh, let me Google that and see what the problem is. So I went to um, Commvault forum, right? And I'm scrolling down here, and I see that I need to. Um, what do I need to do? I need to um, change my archive log. Um, so I need to do that. So let's let's log into SQL Plus. Uh, on our device and, and change it. So click on uh, Start Menu, then move around until you see SQL Plus. And you would only get this, I think you would only get it if you have the Enterprise version. Um, I'm not sure that you get it if you have a desktop class with all not the bells and whistles. So at any rate, we're going to click on S SQL Plus. So SQL Plus tells me, uh, in the form thing, it told me 
do um, SQL plus sys password. I omitted the password as sysdba. So I did this portion already. Excuse me, this portion right here. And uh, I'm in. I just thought I'd do who, who am I like in Linux to see if it worked. Obviously it doesn't. So I need to do startup mount is my first command. Startup mount, enter. Oh, oh it's already running right. Okay, it's cool. I don't have to do that then. So I have to type in um, database arc, alter database archive log, enter. Oh, I forgot something. Oh man, I can close it out. I gotta go back in again. What I didn't do, I didn't type in um, a, a semicolon. Okay, well, uh, let's see. Let's try this again. Alter database uh, archive, oh, that's an E actually. Archive log, enter. Huh. Uh, database must be mounted, okay. Uh -huh. Okay, it looks like it's already started. Startup mount, okay, so must be mounted in the instance and not open in any instance, okay. So I'm going to try that other command again. Um, alter database archive log. The database must be mounted, mounted in the instance and not open in any instance, okay. So let's Google the error, uh, or, or a 1126. Okay, it looks like I got a exactly what I'm the kind of error that I have so I'm going to try what they uh, say here if you like this video and you want to see more please jump on to my course which is I have two courses one is at getajobnit.teachable.com and the other course is on Udemy it's learn backup and restore with Commvault get a high paying job you can also subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just type in Gary McNeely or Commvault Whisperer. There's some good content there related to this. If you would, could you click on the subscribe button and click on notifications? Thank you very much.